I did my own work here in the desert. Um, what I did on my... All right, sorry guys, my camera died, so I had to quick switch out the battery. Um, I'm gonna put some pictures in here so that you can probably, or you can see what I actually did, because I don't think this is gonna show up on the camera. But what I did was I put an electric fan, you know, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's an electric uh, radiator fan on this side now and uh, external transmission cooler on the other side. Um, hopefully that, that transmission cooler really helps me out with uh, my transmission problems. You know, it's just been getting hot. And I think with this, uh, this tire and this bike here, if you can see you're past the sun, um, there's just not a whole lot of airflow to the actual radiator. So when it gets hot, I start to overheat a little bit. Nothing that has really worried me yet, but it definitely spikes up and uh, hopefully that uh, external fan will help out. At this point, I still need to wire the external fan up. I have the wires all running up into the engine bay, so I'll be able to get to them, but uh, I need to wire them to something. I just need to go get a switch and then uh, and wire that up. I've also considered, Josh told me, or suggested that maybe I just uh, wire it to my, like my parking lights. So every time my parking lights are on, that fan will turn on, which that's not a bad idea. That's a very possible of an idea to do. Um, but I'm gonna go inside now because this desert air, I don't know what it is. You can probably hear that I'm wheezing a little bit. Um, Especially around this time of day, I just, I feel like I have, have asthma or something, and I really, I don't have asthma, I don't think. Um, but it definitely becomes very difficult for me to breathe around this time of day. So, I'm going to stop talking and go hang out in the motorhome and chill out in the coolness. It's not very cool in there, it's like 90 degrees in the motorhome too, but it's cooler than out here. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to breathe, breathe a little bit better, so... Hey guys, so I ended up here at a PNA Tire Auto Service Mission Road in Tucson um, with Felix because Felix is here trying to get his his motorhome working again. And mine started leaking coolant all over the place when I went to uh, AutoZone a couple miles down the road to get a switch for a different project. So I came here and uh, I thought my radiator was bad but it turns out, or it looks like it was just the reservoir had a little bit of a leak right there. So uh, the guy here, I took it all off and the guy here to put a little uh, reinforcement powder on there and then he just siliconed it up a little bit on top of that. And so far, it looks like we're gonna be good, but uh, the real test is gonna be when everything heats up again and uh, the everything expands, you know, so. We'll see, but at this point, at least it's not a radiator problem. These radiators are 200 bucks, and while that's a job I can do on my own, it's just hard to do on the road. So, fingers crossed this works. Lots of uh, road noise here, but uh, we should be good to go with uh, just the uh, just the patch there. So, so that'll be good, and then uh, I can get back on the road. And hopefully Felix is going to be back on the road soon. Right now we're thinking it's the computer that's wrong. So that's going to be tested and figured out. In the meantime, I need to work on a switch for my new fan that's down here. Right, I just uh, need to run the wires and the switch to the dashboard. I've got the switch and everything now. So There you go, guys. PNA Tire and Auto Service um, in Tucson on Ajo Way. Ha, ha, ha.